All right, so getting straight into it, I have a cube here named Wally. And I want to show the player that the cube's name is Wally. And to do that, I am using a text element. And the problem with just having it like this, if I move the player, then the text doesn't really stay focused on the cube. And a way we can approach this is we can use world space UI. But the problem with world space UI is that you have to manipulate the rotation, uh, the position, and all of that to actually make it track onto the cube. And now in m a much easier way to approach this is just tracking it like as regular UI itself in screen space instead of having to use world space. So the way we do this is if we go into the 2D view and focus on this tracking point here, I have a tracking point with the text as a child. This is mainly just a pivot for the text, like that. And a way we can have this track onto a certain object is using world to screen space. And that function can be found in the camera class. So to start, let's create a script here. Let's call this track UI. And let's put this on the tracking point. Now let's go into our tracking UI script. And the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to create a variable for our subject. So we're going to create a serialized field, private transform, and we're going to call this our subject. And all we're going to do is we're going to check if the subject exists to prevent any errors. And now what we can do is transform.position equals and now, since it's a camera function, we're going to need a reference to the player's camera. So we're going to do private camera, player camera. You could use camera.main, but I find this better. So transform.position equals player camera dot screen to world point. Or world to screen point. It's world to screen, world to screen point. And in here, we're going to pass in our subject.position. And that is all you have to do to make 2D tracking UI. So now if we go back into the scene and we assign the player camera and our subject, which is Wally, -E, we can now go hit play. And you can see that it is tracking the cube perfectly. All the rotation and all that is handled and you can see how it scales down as we get closer so it's easier to read, like a billboard UI effect. So. Yeah, that is all I have for this, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, like and subscribe, and goodbye.